Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario! Last time, I forgot to do something on the way back from the Crystal Palace there, so let's take a nap here. You can actually do this as soon as you unlocked Shiver Mountain there, with the snowman, with the scarf, and I almost said blanket, but no. Uh, with the scarf and the bucket there, and, well, then we get all these items. So, all the snowmen melted and became mar er, not marshmallows, <laughs> um, mushrooms? Huh. So, they all died, huh? Well then, there you are. There is an ultra stream in the middle there that would be nice. But I'm not really going to use that. So, let's just head on back to where I was before. And take a look at our badge setup here. Take on the master. Oh, by the way, I also got up to max level off screen there. So now I got a lot of HP, FP. Not that it's really going to change much, but I figured, eh, let's just do it for completion's sake. Okay, so, see what we got here. Uh, now, the master has a lot of attack power. So you're definitely going to want damage dodges, even de defend plus there to help out with that. And uh, D-Down Jump, because, well, he actually has some defense there. So I think that'll uh, work pretty well for us. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hand the commentary off to future H.C. Bailey because, well, the timing your blocks against Master is pretty tricky. So I want to be able to do a little bit of slow motion and stopping to tell you how you're supposed to block all these. You could use Zap Tap, but I'm banning that for this fight. So I'll hand it off to my future self and be right back. Yes, I am. Okay, this is future H.C. Bailey here, bringing you slow motion, stop motion, you name it. So that way I can share how you're supposed to block his attacks with my reflexes. If you have better reflexes than I do, which is really not that hard to do, well, then you might be able to do this a little easier than I did. But uh, I should be able to block most of his attacks, although I will be taking some damage here. So anyway, first things first, you uh, tattle him. He has one point of defense, which is why I have D-Down Jump. And it's very critical to you chill out, so that way he doesn't annihilate you. Even with 50 HP, he can really pile on the damage. Of course, if Merle decides to interrupt, so much the better. Now, you see he's going to start charging towards you. That means he's going to do a single hit. So once you see him do that movement with his fists on the second sound effect, that's when you want to block. So, pretty simple. I'll show another one of those later at full speed so you can get the idea of how it's supposed to work. But anyway, attacking is really easy. Just go D-Down Jump. Best damage I can think I can do. And uh, let's bring Parrot Carry out. You could use Bombette or Sushi. Either one of them will do. And you can deal six damage to him. Alright. Block. Yeah, you see there, once you hear that second sound effect, that's when you want to block. So that way he'll charge right, that's when he's about to charge right at you. So, alright, easy enough. And, uh, same thing as before. You want to keep an eye on his chill out debuff there, because it'll wear off sometimes. Now when you see this line of dialogue, that means he's going to do a three hit combo. So get ready for it. The camera's going to pan over to Mario. That's when you want to block, before you even see him on the screen. Now, once he's done that hit, that's when you want to do the second block because it's going to come really fast. And once you hear the first sound effect, or the second sound effect from his fists, that's when you want to block for the third hit. Boom, you take no damage if you've got all the defense that I've laid on there. So, I'll try uh, showing that again in slow motion instead of stop motion so you can get a better idea of how you're supposed to block all that. But, uh, yeah, same attacks as before. Okay, here comes another three-hit combo. Block. Block. Now wait for it. Block. And that's how you, uh, block all the damage. Whenever I was saying block, that's when I would hit the A button to block all that. But, okay, so all we gotta do is, uh, chill him out again. I suppose you don't have to do this, but... Well, I like tanking. And I can block anything except his one hit. 
which, well, it's not a combo. I almost said one-hit combo, but no, that wouldn't be right. Uh-oh. Oh, another three-hit combo. Let's see it at full speed. Yeah, it's really... It takes a lot of practice to be able to block it that accurately, but, uh... Yeah, I fought him like ten times today just to make sure I had the timing down for him. He's just so fast. Comes right off the edge of the screen. But anyway, okay, so one more thing we gotta show off. Oh. Okay, it's not yet, but uh, we have a two-hit combo that he can do, so I'll be showing that in a moment. Basically the same thing as the three-hit combo, except you don't get the line of dialogue to warn you. And it's just the first two hits of the combo. So once you see the camera pan to him without a dialogue, that's when you want to block. And you block the second hit, same as always there. You could use Zap Tap against him, and that would interrupt his combo so he wouldn't do the other two hits, but well, I thought I'd uh, make it a, at least remotely challenging here. And, well, might as well finish him off here and then I'll hand it back off to my past self to take the live commentary again. Alright, got him. Present H.C. Bailey back. And, well, that's how you beat him. Yeah, who needs Zap Tap? Well, thank you. And I don't know what the point of this is, but it's there. I guess it changes some lines of dialogue from... Some people, like those uh, toads, were like, Whoa, you got a diploma! Or something or other like that. Mm, I don't really use my items, but whatever works for you. But anyway, okay, so uh, I think this is the guy who says something about the diploma we just got. Yeah, there it is. How can he give me a diploma if I'm better than him, though? Ah, well, yeah, I already knew that. Uh, yeah, not really much of a point to that. What is this, like an Omega badge or something? Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, no real tangible benefit for doing it other than the challenge and everything. But I do want to uh, rest up because, well, I took a little bit of damage. I was going to say he kicked my ass, but... uh. Nah, he didn't really. I'm surprised I got all those timing blocks perfectly there. Because usually I screw up like at least once or twice. Because the timing in real time is really precise there for that fight. But, alright. So, let's see what we can do here. Okay, I want to change my setup here. Uh, let's see. I don't need uh, damage dodge or any defending stuff anymore. Don't need D-down jump. Okay, so let's see. What do we want? I actually want to get Hammer Throw. That'll be pretty useful for uh, the next area we're going to go to. Definitely Quick Change, Dodge Master as usual. Let's see, uh, how many Power Pluses? I want two of those. And let's see, Power Up a little bit. Uh, where's that other one? Uh, ah, Deep Focus. I'm using that just as a filler badge here, really. But anyway, okay, so we got that. I want to get plus four power to my attack. So, two power plus, P up, D down, and all or nothing, that should do for us. And, let's see, last but not least, Speedy Spin Dizzy Attack. That'll really help us out there. Um, okay, so let's head on to the end. By the way, the uh, maximum number of coins is $9.99, not $7.99. I got quite a few coins while I was uh, farming the Amazing Daisies for experience. But, yeah, that was pretty easy. And eventually, once I show off whatever new enemies I've got in the area, I'm just going to equip, like, Bump Attack or something, so that way I don't have to worry about fighting them anymore. Actually, I could probably do that already, since... Uh, well, I've already met with some of the enemies, but... You know what? I'll save that for later. Sounds like a plan. Star Road? Rainbow Road? Well, that would be scary. Oh, okay. Why can't you just do it now? Ah, well, thank you. 
What's with the uh, text there? I don't even know how to describe that. Well, whatever it is. Well, okay. Too bad they didn't really have a rainbow road in this game. Oh, well. well sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Man, this uh, star path road way thing kind of reminds me of, uh, what was that place? Makalania Forest or something like that with the secret areas. But anyway, we got a new enemy here. And these guys are on fire. So you probably want to, uh, what is it? Uh, have, oh, no, 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 I don't need that. Okay, I was thinking uh, ice power or something like that. But, uh, well, you'll see why I didn't equip the ice power badge, even though these guys are fire elemental, which theoretically you could uh, deal more damage to them. But for some reason, the ice power badge and the hammer throw badge don't uh, stack for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Yeah, like one thing I could have done is use jump with ice power or something like that but the first hit would cause them to split up just like final fantasy 3 Ooh, i hate those splitting enemies so yeah you gotta deal 10 damage to them all at once or they're gonna split up into parts so what i decided to do was bring the hammer hammer throw with plus four attack power and that should barely be enough to do it ha! easy enough but yeah, like, if I use my regular hammer attack, uh, what is it? Ice power would stack with that, but it doesn't do that with hammer throw. So, I guess because the hammer leaves your body or something? I don't know. But anyway, okay, that's the only new enemy around here. So, I'm going to, uh, get rid of some stuff so that way I can just not have to fight these guys anymore. Because they're the only new enemy around. Uh, where is it? Okay, bump attack. And that ought to be good. Let's bring, uh, Lucky Lester so we can move a little faster without spinning all the time. Hey, where are you guys? You all hiding? Hey, get back here. I just want, hey, there you go. Yeah, all you gotta do is just run into them and they die because I'm max level. So that'll make editing a lot easier. Oh! Oh, you steal that from the stars? Oh, by the way, with my inventory, I basically either sold or stored away everything except jam and jellies. Which I probably will want because the final dungeon is long. Well, maybe not that long, but long enough. But alright, we made it. So let's see what's going on. Yeah, how do you tell the difference between night and day? Especially like in Peach's Castle or something. Oh, yeah, I've been throwing them at my enemies and selling them. And then I rescue them for profit. Well, that wasn't all of them, just a f the ones in charge. Oh, yeah, I rescued them. A plumber saved your entire race from extinction. Okay, how's it going? What? How does a star get sick? What, do you go supernova or something? Or become a white dwarf star or whatever? Uh, first I said, I thought he said lightsaber, but no, that wouldn't be right. Not in this game. How's it going? These happy days are yours and mine. However the lyrics go. I forget the lyrics to that song. But anyway, okay, yeah, let's head on up here, see what we got going on. Man, those are some pretty big stairs, but why do you even need stairs? You're stars. You could uh, just float up there. Or fly up there, or whatever. Well, do the best I can. Why do they want the star rod back? I mean, if they could just override the power of the star rod, why didn't they do that to begin with? I don't know. But anyway, oh, yeah, we got a shop up here, but uh, nothing that I'm going to buy. Maybe I should sell that uh, 
shooting star item because I'm not going to use it. That should do. No, I think we're good. Besides, if I really needed seven damage to everything or six or whatever, I'd just use the star power to do that instead of an item. But the, yeah, we're going to pick up a lot of items in the final areas. So yeah, that's why I'm trying to clear as much inventory space as I can. Uh, no, I don't need to, but... Well, it's the only inn that's not run by a toad, but I suppose I could understand why. But yeah, I mean, it's like, if we... I was saying about the star spirits, I mean, they could just override the power of the star rod now that we've uh, rescued them all. So... I mean, if they could have done this this whole time... Either why didn't they do that to begin with, or why did they care about getting the Star Rod back? Because, I mean, they just override it. I mean, they basically make... nerf the whole thing. So it's like, why not just do that instead of going all our way... out of our way to... screw over Bowser or something. I mean, you wouldn't be able to do anything with the Star Rod anyway. I'm just exaggerating, viewers. But anyway, uh, yeah, we gotta go back and do that, because Bowser can still use it, even though we can uh, drain it. We gotta get a little closer, I guess. Can we fly to the very top of the castle, so that way we don't have to go through a massive dungeon? <sighs> no, of course not. I've played this JRPG before. Gotta start all the way at the bottom there. Oh, okay. Well, it's better than uh, Cloud Bus, or uh, whatever that vehicle we used in Mario RPG was. It looked like a car or something, but, well, whatever it is. Oh yeah, I kind of glossed over it. We got that Star Beam attack, so when we're fighting Bowser, we can use that to basically turn off the Star Rod, pretty much. Or basically debuff him or something. Hmm. I like that we have Lackluster here in this one. He's just like, oh yeah. Looking cool with those shades. Well, the stars could do it, but they're going to send a plumber to do it anyway. Gotta clean up Bowser's pipe. Sounds vulgar. Well, do the best we can. Uh, uh, okay. That's not exactly a uh, very good wish. Mm, forbidden donuts. Why did they even put that in there? Just for, I don't know, comic relief or something? I don't know. That's okay. Yeah, let's go right into the mouth of the dungeon. Surely this will not be a trap. But, yeah. For some reason, it kind of reminds me of getting on board the Palamecia in Final Fantasy XIII. But anyway, okay, yeah, we gotta stop off here. Can we even do anything with these guys? No? Okay, I just saw all those vehicles there. I thought maybe we could do something, but no, no. Okay, well then, let's take a look around, see what we can do. Uh-oh! We're trapped now! Only one way to go. And of course, we have lava everywhere, but we can't do anything there. Hmm, there's the last badge in the game, but I can't get over there yet. Can't even uh, go around this way, so we'll have to find another way to get in there. Locked door, so let's go over here. See what we got going on. Oh, you know, I should probably uh, change up my badges now. That would be a good idea. Okay, so let's get rid of all those. Oh, no, I still want Power Plus, I think. Get Dizzy Attack. Okay, I want to bring all of the uh, Quake badges for various situations there. Let's see, Dodge, Ma Quick Change, Dodge Master as usual. Let's see, only one Power Plus. I think that's all we'll need, all or nothing. Let's see, I definitely want Spike Shield because we got some spiky guys to deal with. And, let's see, last one, where is it? There it is. Flower Finder, because I'm going to be using my FP quite a bit. So, let's take him on! 
Now, I've actually already met up with these guys, but when I was in the Shy Guys toy box, but, well, for those who either didn't see that or whatever, well, I'm gonna show it to you now. So, let's uh, do Quake Hammer! Do that, and have Goombario take out the one in the back there. Easy enough. Now, when they're flipped over, they'll get up, like, almost right away, usually. Except this time, he was stunned from the dizzy attack there. So now, I can just finish them off rather easily with just regular hammer attack. Easy enough. Awesome. So yeah, two Quake Hammers, or you could use a uh, Mega Quake to one-shot them all if you really wanted to, but since there were only two of them and I had one stunned, I figured, why bother using the FP for that? But anyway, well, we got a key, but I can't get those guys out. Oh, wow. Well. well, let's get on back up and try to find a place to use the key that we passed up earlier. Ha-ha! Can I use the key? Oh, thank you. Let's see. Okay, so I've fought all the enemies here, or at least most of them, I think. So, let's see. Let's just get rid of those two and get a bump attack badge, and we'll just plow right through them with Lock Lester there. But yeah, if you are if you didn't ma go up to max level, well, you're going to have to fight some more of these guys, but I'm not going to. Ha ha. I don't even need the coins, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hey, get back here. Thank you. I just want to bump into you and take your money, man. Oh, you know, there actually is another new enemy around here, isn't there? Let me be careful. Okay. Got that one. Let's see, where's the other one? Okay, yeah, there's that guy. So let's uh, go back in our bad setup. I wish we could kind of just switch bad setups, like, on the fly. Like, uh, have, like, one setup and then just simply switch the setups that you got rather than manually changing all the badges one by one. Now this guy we also met up with the Shy Guys toy box since I did all that in advance, but if you didn't, well, we're gonna do it again now. So yeah, these guys got quite a bit of HP, but uh, we can take them. Unfortunately, we can't flip them like before, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, Goombario, can he do that? Yeah, I think he can get the job done. Of course, if I mistime my jump, well, that wouldn't work. Ow! Whoa! I don't think I've, like, ever been shrunk. Like, ever. Wow, that really sucked. I... Why can't I time my attack with Goombario anymore? Who gives, game? Well, I can at least use Refresh, I guess? Usually, I just, like, one-shot these guys, and... This is never a problem, but, well, yeah. That's... Man, I used up all my timing energy on the Master there or something. What is going on here? My timing is, like, way off now for some reason. Huh. Okay, well, now I got that right. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know what was going on there. For some reason, my timing was just screwed up. But, okay, we got him anyway. Not that I'm really worried about that, but... Okay, whoops. I'll just keep that in the episode. I'm not even going to edit that out. <laughs> Besides, I know you how you guys like to watch me suffer. Okay, bring back Lack of Lester, and let's uh, just pile through the uh, remaining enemies. If there even are any. Oh, you can't open a door with him? Okay, never mind then. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, okay. So, do we have to fight you or something? Or are you going to crush me in the room? Uh, no, not particularly. Oh. Well, okay. Never mind then. But thou must. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, okay. Now what? Whoa! Why did Lackluster fall down? Oh, right, he can only hover over something. 
that. We're trapped with the other prisoners. Whatever shall we do? Find out next time on Let's Play Paper Mario. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. Ha uh ha. -huh.